What's going on everybody, this is Gaza back here with another Football Manager 2020 Experiment video and this is episode 8 of the Experiment of David Turnbull. So we have arrived at the 1st of June 2033 and we're going to see what David Turnbull has been up to in his last 3 seasons. So, he is still, according to this, still, yes he's still at Galatasaray, he's 33 years old. Valued at 165k and contracted until the end of twen the end of 30th of June 2033. So he's still got another month. So what I'm thinking of doing in this is going to the 30th of June 2033 and looking at his start to be able to see if he's still going to be at a club, but. Let's have a look at his career stats at the moment from 2030-31 season. So, he played 31 games, scoring 4 goals, 7 assists, and has a 6.91 average rating. That is really, really good for him. He had an even better season the season before. That's probably the best season he played in a Galatasaray shirt. Continental, he played 6 games scoring twice, oh, yeah, he sc actually overall he played 37 games scoring 6 goals that season, absolutely brilliant from David Turnbull. Then the 31-32 season he played 32 games scoring 3 goals and having 6 assists with a 7.3 average rating and he played 45 games scoring 3 goals overall, 13 games in European competitions. And then the 2032-33 season, playing 34 games, scoring two goals, two assists, and a 6.85 average rating. He really, really done well. 12 continental games again, and he's really, really has done very well with Galatasaray. He's got any milestones at Galatasaray, and it seems not he's not had any from since 2025. So. Really, really doing well at Galatasaray, David Turnbull. Yeah, three caps of Scotland still. So, what I'm going to do is fast forward to the actual go to the where are we? First of July. 2033 and see how David Tumble is getting on. So we've uh, arrived at the 1st of July 2033 and David Tumble has signed a one year extension at Galatasaray valued at £1.8 million on 44.5k per week until the 30th of the 6th 2034. Um, we'll go to the 1st of July. 2034 and see if he has progressed no and see what he's done if he's became a free agent or been any management or became an assistant manager or signed another extension we'll keep doing it in this episode because this will be the last episode of the David Tumble experiment uh, starting at s from Celtic of course um, and then we'll move on to the next one at where we'll start him at Leeds. So, see you in a year's time. Just going to do this just now. 2034. 1st of July. So, see you in a year. So, we have arrived at the 1st of July, 2034, and we're going to see. David Turnbull is still playing for Galatasaray and he is so he's valued at 725k a week he's um, still on 44.5k per week sorry not 725k per week valued at 725k a month he's contracted until the 30th of June 2035 so what I'll do is, I'll have a quick look at his stats, uh, I think we already did. It's 23-34 season, he's played 30 games, 
didn't score any goals, had four assists and two player of the match awards in the seven point zero zero average rating. He is um oh, he is now thirty four years old. Uh overall he's had two hundred and seventy one appearance the league appearances for Galatasaray scoring twenty goals. Overall, it's seven clubs. He's had 403 appearances, scoring 44 goals. So I think um, what I'll do with David Turnbull is, well, we'll continue still in this episode in episode uh, eight here. Um, we'll go another two years into the future and see what he's doing by that point if he is retired and became going into management or whatever or will wait or if even if he's still playing in the next two years at the age of 36 then I'll uh, continue this episode right through to when he retires so hopefully he's getting to the age where he's due to retire I think he probably will play one more season at the club, but we'll wait and see how he does because he's still a, a crucial player for them. So it might, it might be um, big from so it might be good to see how long he can last. It's definitely gonna last a lot longer than this uh, experiment than the last one and where he played his full career at Marvel. So he's let's see. How many seasons he's been at Galatasaray? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Going into his 10th season at Galatasaray. So, well, he's been there 10 years now. So that's not too bad. So hopefully he does well. He actually, no, he didn't score, sorry. He played four, well, five continental games, which is not too bad. Um... For David Turnbull, so I'm going to have a quick look at information to see what club says he supports because it's still not there. His reputation's at four, he's doing really well. Um, I didn't think it, it would have been as big um, as. The last, I didn't. I thought we would have been similar to the last scene, but not too bad. Definitely the last club we'll play for, um, on the save of margin. Uh, so we'll see you on the first of July, twenty thirty six. So we have arrived at the first of July, twenty thirty six, and we're going to see if David Turnbull is still playing or has he went into management searching no results found so he is completely retired from um, football and hasn't went into management so what I'm going to do is have a quick look at um, Galatasaray and see well, what I'll do first is I'll have a look at the Turkish Super League to see where they came in the space, well, in the time he was at the club. So he arrived 2025 26 season, so they never finished in the top three. They finished second 26 27 season, same the following season. The season after that, they went in the top three. Then the 2029-30 season, they came third. Then in the 2030-31 season, they came second. In the following season, they came second. Then the 2032-33 season, they won the league at Galatasaray. Um, they came runners up the following season after winning it, and then the last two, well, the last season we probably know of that he was at the club. They came third and again third in the 36 season. So I'm going to ha- see if they won any other competitions in the space of that time. Oh. 
so the Turkish Cup he won the Turkish Cup once Turkish Super Cup won it once um, nope he's not won any uh, Europe he's not won anything apart from the league and the cup ones so to be honest we'll have a quick look at the Scottish leagues from 2030 I think it was uh, so it would have been that season right up until that 2035-36 season so Celtic won the league in 2031 um, with Motherwell coming 5th a good position to finish in the top 6 then Rangers won the league in 2032 Motherwell came 8th in that table comfortable though 2033 Celtic won the league um, on 90 points oh. Uh, Motherwell coming 6th in qualifying for the Europa Conference League on 51 points 2034 Celtic won the league again Motherwell came 5th and also again qualified back to back in the Europa Conference League then 2035 Celtic won the league again Motherwell finished 5th on 61 points a very good season from them and all so qualify for the Europa Conference League again. Uh, Rangers won the league in 2036 on 93 points. Motherwell won 8th. Celtic coming in 2nd on 87. And yeah, that is really... Um, well, we'll have a quick look at... Uh, the Champions League, the Europa League and the Europa Conference League to see the past winners so it's been a mixture of teams from England France and Spain and Germany winning the Champions League oh, this team won it Fr Z Zebra from Italy won the Champions League over Barcelona. Oh, that is actually a shocker there. Um, let's look at the Europa League. Arsenal are current holders. Hibs were runners up against Real Madrid in um, 2033 34 season. I don't really see any other Scottish clubs in there. So we'll have a look at the Europa Conference League. Mm. Hibs runners up there. Rangers were runners up as well. 2023-24 season and Hibs are the current runners up. That's not too bad. Um, that's the experiment. So yeah, I'm going to end the experiment there. Um, for this one and we'll see you back in episode 9 where he will start off at Leeds United so remember to comment, like and subscribe and thanks for watching and I'm signing out now